Hey guys, I am excited to do today's tutorial with you. I am starting to conceal and prep my eyelids using the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte Cosmetics. I really love the way that this brightens my eyelids and it helps hold a ton of different products and textures on the eyelid so they stay and don't crease on you throughout the day. Next, I am taking the Charlotte Tilbury Glow Wand and I'm just applying this to areas of the face that I want a glow. So the brow bone, the cheeks, the nose, uh, the bow of the lip, and a few other areas just to get my glow started. So the first eyeshadow I'm starting with is the Melt Cosmetics Vita Palette with the shade Soul. It's actually a really pretty yellow tone that has a little bit of an orange undertone. I'm using one of the crease brushes from Melt Cosmetics to kind of get the pigment going, build some color, and then we'll move on to the next color. The next shade I'm using is from Melt, the same palette. It's called Pan Dulce, and I'm using a Hokohodu brush to apply this color and really get it defined in the crease. What I love about this particular brush is it is very strong. So it applies the pigment directly where you're placing it, but it's a blending tool. So it's actually gonna help blend it out as well. And now I'm just kind of jumping back to the other melt brush where I use the first color and kind of meshing the two tones together. I want the color to be a little bit more of a faded neon versus a really stark neon. Now I'm gonna be using the Aether Beauty Highlighter in Solar and then one of my favorite brushes from Smith Cosmetics. And I'm placing this all over the eyelid and on the inner corner of the eye, but I'm also doing a soft haze completely over the neon shadow. That neon shadow is super pigmented, so it's still gonna come through. It's not gonna get completely blended away or diffused, but I just wanted to have more of that glow that I was telling you about. But then I am gonna go back in and repop in the orange eyeshadow just to make sure I have the intensity that I want. Next, I'm applying the Melt Cosmetics Gel Liner in Prissy. These are really, really cool because they can actually be used all over the eye if you want for a really pretty eye color. And they set nicely, but they don't ever get cakey and dry. I decided to apply just a tiny bit of this to the lash line first so it would peek over the neon liner that I'm gonna do later. And I, as you can see, these just blend on so beautifully. And I'm just using an angled eyeliner from MAC. Next, I'm using the Suva Beauty Acid Trip. Now, I have never used these before and it shows. These definitely take a learning curve. I know they're easy to use, but I decided to keep this tutorial anyway because I botched it and somehow still ended up creating a look. So here you go. Now I'm just using a concealer brush and a little bit of my Shape Tape Concealer to make these wings much smaller, much more manageable, and much prettier. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape again, and I'm gonna start concealing the face and also kind of placing it in a few other areas where I personally want more coverage. And then you'll see me add my foundation later.
particular brush I'm using is from Ilia and it is a staple for me. It is big enough that you can put your all over product on, small enough that you can do detail work under the eye, even cream contours. So this is a tool I have to have all the time. Now I'm curling my eyelashes with the Baddington Lash Curler. This is definitely one of my faves. Gives a really nice curl to the uh, eyelashes. And then I'm going in with the Vapor Beauty Mesmerize Mascara. If you guys follow my Instagram, you see my IG Lives where I use this all the time. I'm obsessed with the really dark formula. It's really great for those of you who like that false lash look but don't necessarily want them too fluffy every day. And then uh, the formula just never flakes. The brush is super easy to use as well. So next I'm applying some simple lashes. I kind of cut a good majority of them off so it would be more from the pupil of the eye towards the outer corner of the eye. I set some glue out and kind of popped that on along the lash line. And then I just looked down into a hand mirror and then using tweezers gently applied these uh, lashes to the lash line. And then when you're done, you can comb them into your natural lashes. And I'd like to do these little pinches on the inner corners to make sure the shape is right where I want it. Next, I'm using the Glossier Pro Tip, and I am going to do a soft black winged liner on top of the neon. This will help blend in the false lashes that we've applied, but it's also gonna give me that look of that double-edged winged liner. This is such an easy product to use. You guys can look down into a hand mirror like I am. You can also brace a little bit if you have to. I try to never pull too hard on my skin. I simply place my ring finger into a slight tug. Um, that's something you can do. And then uh, if you follow my YouTube or my Instagram, I'm gonna be showing you guys in another tutorial, a really fun and fast, easy way to do eyeliner, especially if you aren't very good at it. Now I'm starting to shape my brows. I'm using the Brow Flick from Glossier and I use the shade black. I actually really love where my particular marker is at. It's been used a little bit, so it's not as stark when I use it, but I like that it creates what look like little hair strokes, so it's a little bit more natural, which I like. So now I'm just taking my concealer brush with whatever's left of the shape tape and just cleaning up around the brows. This is just gonna make them look nice and crispy and nice and even. And then next I'm using the EcoBrow, Eco Brow Clear Brow Gel. I really love this product. It has an end that's really short and it has an end that's long. So you can kind of decide how you wanna comb your hair. Next, I'm using the CareWise Bright Eye Pencil in my waterline. I love that this reduces redness in the eye area and just makes the overall makeup look look brighter and more awake, and it makes my eyes look bigger. Next, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Peach Gasm for my cream blush. It is a gorgeous pinky coral color, and as you can see, you can just use this little wand to press it onto your skin. And then I like to use my ring finger to begin the blending process. This gives such a gorgeous highlight and a I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light One in Peach Gasm for my cream blush. It is a gorgeous pinky coral color. And as you can see, you can just use this little wand to press it onto your skin. And then I like to use my ring finger to begin the blending process. This gives such a gorgeous highlight and a blush at the same time. But then I'm gonna take one of my foundation brushes and just press the product into the skin so I get a really effortless application. applying my lip products. So I'm starting with the Jane Iredell Molly Lipstick. It's just a really warm, gorgeous nude tone, and I don't want a full pigment. That's why I'm pressing it into the lips. Then I'm topping it off with the Fit Glow Lip Serum in Bare so that I get that really gorgeous, um, natural nude lip. Hey guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye.